What does the ocean and a fear of flying have in common? Well, keep watching and you can find out. Hi, I'm Christopher Paul Jones, the breakthrough expert. So what does the ocean and flying have in common? Well, they both have this thing that makes you sway. On a boat, they call it waves. In the sky, they call it turbulence. Now I'm on a private boat here today, uh, going around the Greek islands. Now, the captain didn't turn around to me when there were some waves, as there are now, and suddenly start panicking. The reason? Because waves are part of the ocean. And just like waves are part of the ocean, turbulence is part of the sky. So the captain of an aeroplane, the pilot, is not scared or worried or concerned when they hit turbulence because it's not unexpected. It is part of flying. Sometimes you hit bumpy roads. You know, if you go down a country lane, it sometimes can be a bit gravelly and it can be jump a bit. If you're on a boat, it can sometimes sway a bit. And that's the same with aeroplanes. Now, I often go on about the fact that emotions aren't logical. So it's understandable that you can know this and still feel bad, in which case I've got the techniques around the site that can help change the emotion. But if you're going, no, it's sensible to be afraid of turbulence because it's dangerous, then that's an incorrect belief because no plane in recent history has ever been brought down by turbulence. But if you're trying to justify with logic and go, well, maybe I'm unsafe, the plane is dropping, then it's worth reading about how turbulence works. And it's also reminding yourself about the fact that this is an expected part of the flight. I think one of the trouble with flying is people tend not to know as much about aeroplanes as they say do about cars. Lots of people drive and they understand how cars work. So if they watch a Hollywood movie where the cars are doing tremendous things, like there's a Fast and Furious one, which really sticks in my mind where they're smashing through one building and into the next and into the next, like a series of skyscrapers. And they go smash through one, smash through the next one, smash through the next one, and then land on the road and speed off. Now, apart from the fact that's impossible for so many reasons, and it would smash up the car, most people watch that and go, it's a movie. But when you don't know so much about flying, you might watch movies like The Grey, or Final Destination, or Airplane even. And again, the Hollywood is doing the thing and people go, oh, maybe that could happen to me. But in most cases, most of the things they portray on the Hollywood movies can't. So the first key is to challenge this belief that your phobia is rational, that your fear is rational, that it's logical. Then once you realize it's emotional, one of the things you can do is the techniques around my site to help change that. If you like this video, as always, please like, subscribe, and of course, share. And until next time, I'm Christopher Paul Jones.